Because apparently you have to put it in here. But I can do that. Three, that four. makes sense. Year four. <clears throat> I'm just kind of looking for a defenseman because both Manson and what's his face? Um, fuck, there was a second guy. I know Ouellette wanted out, but I'm just trying to remember the third. Oh, Connor Murphy. That's his name. Connor Murphy wanted out too. So we need to make a couple of moves here. How many points did he have? Well, he had a fair amount. Because I'm trying to bring in a guy who, like, who, like, can fit the mold for the team sort of thing. Because I'm trying to get players on the team. I tried to make a couple of offers, but it didn't work. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Jacob, ja Jacob Truba. Darnell Nurse. Signed to a pretty friendly contract, too. <clears throat> Maybe this on its own could be enough to bring him in. Maybe Connor Murphy could sweeten the deal. The Oilers want every single player. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so much for Darnell Nurse, and they still won't bite. You want Darnell Nurse, kid? He's like 85 overall, and these are a bunch of like... Only Manson's the only notable good player on here. Wait, you don't want Wallet? Wow, that's like so much. Wow. He's the best player, dude. Let's retain half of his salary for one season. Be that guy who's like, <laughs> it'll only matter for one year. Connor Murphy. Really? Wow. We'll retain everybody's salary because it won't matter. Because when the season's over, we'll get all that money back anyway. Okay. We were giving you, like, so much here. Just bite and take the bloody trade. We know everyone sucks, but... There we go. Just took a second round pick. We still have no money, but it'll all come back into fruition when... So now our defensive pool is not great, but not terrible. We need kind of a player who's, like, in the middle here to, like, fix it all up sort of thing. Because we have, like, no guy who can like play on the fucking second pair who's good a prospect might have to be dealt we're hoping that the guy we acquired in the trade or like not the guy we acquired in the trade um the draft sorry the guy we acquired in the draft will be enough to or, or the free agency fuck the free agency <laughs> I drawn so many blanks I can't today I just can't but as, as I was saying, I'm trying to bring in some players that can make this team good. Make it great again. They were never good to begin with. Yeah. That's the problem. This team was never good to begin with. And that's the issue. No, that's not very nice. Just a donkey. I'm trying to bring in some players on team-friendly contracts. You could bring in, like, Savard, but he signed for six years. Like, I don't Oof. think so. I don't think so. Make a push for Honka because he's on a pretty good contract. Because, like, the bottom pairing I would let happen with what we have, but other than that, like, not very good. There we go. So now we have Honka on the team. We have, like, no money, but that's okay. We're going to get a lot of it back because I retain, like, half the salary from a bunch of guys in the trade. Like, I retain half of Manson's salary and half of Murphy's salary. And it's all going to come back when the season's over. So so we have Jake Allen and Corpus Salo. Unfortunately, I'd like to keep this tandem here. And we got a prospect. Huskins. Huskins. I'm kind of letting Jake Allen be a placeholder until Huskins is ready. It's going to be a while. I might take Corpus Salo, trade him to another team for, like, a backup goaltender who's significantly cheaper. Get some money back. Because I don't need a guy who's like as good as Corpus Salo being the backup goaltender. Like I get it's nice to have a good safety net, but we don't need that good of safety. Saros. If he's even that low of overall. Wow, Saros is actually not very good. <laughs> yeah, he's not as good as I want. Or go for Di Pietro. Michael Di Pietro, what the fuck is he doing on there? Maybe Canucks traded him. Yeah. Trade for like a prospect backup goalie. 
like it'd be a significant um, downgrade from what we initially traded but I'd rather a guy who can at least grow into something rather than have a guy who is way too much money <clears throat> have a bit of money back so I think with this team we could be we can make some noise in the season I think we've done everything customized jerseys Oh, during the off season, you can re change all this. Okay. What? All this stuff. Home uniform. Like this is the alternate uniform. We should get an alternate. That's what I'm gonna do. But I don't like the jersey be color being like. Bring it in for the big four year mark. Have them play in the alternate uniform. They should. Cause but like yeah, the other ones are cursed. But if it's going to be the alternate uniform, may as well make it the color that, you know, it's, well, going, to, it's going to look like a virtually hideous uniform, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'll change up some things, don't worry. Imagine an all yellow uniform. Imagine this as the uniform, how hideous that'd be. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> if we made that, like, white. Miss me with that shit. If we made that white... That wouldn't be terrible, actually. That's not a terrible uniform now. Like, it's not great, but alternate uniforms, you know. They're, they're hit and miss. And then we gotta put our logo on. Bam. <laughs> Look at this fucking uniform. <laughs> it's so fucking sad. <laughs> Can we make... What do our regular jerseys look like again? Hold on, wait. Are they like black with that logo? Hold on, and just white. Some... Oh, okay, the shorts are black. I was trying to change socks to make them yellow. Make like a gray alternate. Who makes them gray? Vegas. Yeah, but we're not... Vegas doesn't have an alternate. Exactly. However, I would be intrigued to see what they do with an alternate uniform. <clears throat> they don't need one yet. Ooh, I got a good idea. How about instead of all yellow, go all black? Yeah. The blackout jersey, and then have like. Make it not ugly? <laughs> make it like our blackout uniform, and then have like. Ooh, I got a good idea for this. Oh, wait, that's the same color. And I'll make like an alternate color logo for this team just for the occasion. That looks a lot like our home jersey. I know we shouldn't be spending time fooling around with this, but why not? I mean, it's our stream, so if anyone doesn't like it, they can smash that comment section and let us know. Mute-ass motherfuckers don't say anything at all. If you want to be quiet, whatever. You're going to watch what we put out. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Oh, that looks better. Already. Alright, and now we need to pick A. We're going to make our alternate color or alternate jersey wait a minute what the hell just turned red I don't understand I tried to change something red but I don't know what I changed what the hell did I change red is that what I seriously turned red I don't understand what I turned red okay sure for you Okay. I really am still not figuring out what's red here, but okay, sure. Okay. What? Oh, I don't know. This is our... Gonna be our jersey. It's gonna be red. Or black and red. Red's the sign of blood. And that's what's going to be on our opponents when the match is over. <laughs> You're going to make the logo red? Or can't yeah, I'm going to make it red. We're going full blown savage. <laughs> oh, we, yeah. We lose every game. But now we have to make an alternate logo for this. Yeah. 
NBA Sports. Make it like EA Sports is the alternate logo. Everyone turns around. Give it like a different font. Like. I think that's the same P. <laughs> Although that's the V we use. Make our V a little thin. There we go. It's going to be one of the most hideous jerseys that's gone down in our history. But you know what? I've seen hockey teams that have done way worse. Oh, but that also means that we have to change the socks and all that shit too again. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. First bit of the stream's just changing that up. Like, hashtag no shame. <laughs> hashtag humble brag. Then we gotta make the socks. Going live, bro. Come <laughs> check us out. Bam. Have a great day. Those are our blood red. And then make the gloves like white and yellow. So it's like so contrasting. Alright. I think we're good. That was fun. Alright. Hats off. Well, what's your expectation for this season? Playoffs. Playoffs are bust. I don't see Cup or Bust this year because our players aren't exactly good enough. Our like our core players aren't good enough, but like who is this wheel guy? Some is he worth a draft pick? Will he make our team? No. Nah, I don't think so. I'm gonna check our center core. He's like, I think. He's our fourth line center. But that would mean Quine gets called up. <laughs> the memes are real. How about this? What do you want, Quine? <laughs> Just changes the player, nothing else. Well, here you go. Sure. A free pick. Free pick for us for like nothing. Pennies on the do Stop asking for him. I'm not trading our fourth line center. And if he's the fourth line center, we have problems. You should get a better center. Unless like we have Kirby Doc who becomes good. Because he is 75 overall, so, like, if he grows during the offseason, he could challenge for a spot on the team, but, like, there's no guarantees. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's like, stop it. <laughs> can, can you please take this guy? We don't want him here. Seth Griffin. All right. Okay. 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 He's just one million dollar, two million dollars of dead weight in salary. Yeah. And we already have four AHL right wings, so I'm gonna just say GTFO, and then go for like a fourth round pick. How about this? A fourth and a fifth. Fine. How about a fourth and a sixth? Yes. Yeah, That's a sixth. Yeah, nailed it. A six. How about that? No. How, how about a fourth and a seventh? How about just a fourth? Are you serious? I'm not giving the whole earth, moon, and sun for this. Now give me my goddamn pick. You know what, for that, here's what we're going to do. Fuck y'all, you give me the third pick now. Uh, oh. This is all good. <laughs> Just have a fuck you guys. You give me a third round pick this time, bitch. <laughs> Come get, bitch. They're still saying we're hopeful. I think after like the off season's over, I don't think we'll be contenders, but like we'll be a higher but hopeful. Like a playoffs is expected of us. I would like to see Kirby Doc make the team out of camp. That'd be good. Because he's one of the few, like, he's one of our players that's, like, he's on the up and up, right? He's one of our future players, future stars of the team. 
We got Braden Shen around, I think, for a few years, but like, you know, I'd still like him to be. We need a, a, a pl oh right. We have to set captains now that Manson's gone. We need a new captain, and it's not going to be you, Archibald. It's not going to be you. Not going to be you. We're just going to decide, Archibald. I think our longest tenured player on this squad is, in fact, Archibald. Yep, it's official, Archibald. You are our new captain. Everyone starts stick tapping. Brass is shaking hands. Braden Shen, of course, you'll get the A. And my other A, I think, is going to go to. I think we're going to give it to. There's really no, like, guy who's been here for a long time who's warranted it, so. I think since he's just a natural leader, Kachur. Or one of the few good players. He's like a Kachur thing. So, Lafreniere is going to make a good shot out of camp. He can very bust. well. Very well make it our third line. Our top three's not bad. Jamel Smith's not great, but I mean, <laughs> could be worse. Kachur has gone down a bit. Archibald's gotten better. Defense is pretty good overall. And goaltending, Di Pietro already at 81. The trade's already looking nice. So, who knows? I'm not saying Di Pietro's going to be the new starter, but like, if the whole Allen experiment fails and Di, Pi Di Pietro's ready, we are officially a contender now. Nice. Right, let's do this. There must be like, not progress reports. Fuck. Um,. Like, where the owner expects something, like, oh, if you do this, you know, this happens. Like, if I, I don't, I'm not, I won't be mad if whatever, you know what I mean. Like, owners, oh, here we are, right here. I think, nope. Nope. You only get that on owner mode. Yeah. Like, I expect this out of the team, sort of thing. Okay, so, we are officially a contender. Let's check the minor league team and see where they're at. If Doc can make the team out of camp. He very well could challenge for a spot, too. He might be ready to make the team. Klein's the first line center. He's a depth forward. <laughs> Our minor league team's still going to be solid, though. Do we have a defensive prospect? Not particularly. Roman Polak. What an <laughs> oof of the minor league. Legend. And Eddie Lack. Okay. So, our NHL team's going to look pretty solid. And I think on the... NHL squad. I don't know. I might give Doc a chance. Trade wheel. Trade wheel. Trade wheel. He's not the wheel deal. How much money do we got anyway? Because like there might be a free agent who could warrant some consideration. We have five million dollars, and our top option is Matthews. Yeah, no. That's what I think about him. Like, I don't, I'm not planning on training Couture this year, but I definitely need a better third-line center. Like, like, him and Wheel. For like an 80. For like an 80 guy, yeah. Something to at least, like, not make our... Nah, not Kessler! <laughs> yeah, bring Kessler the toxic one in. We're not bringing... And okay, okay. 4.435 for an 81 overall. Easy. <laughs> Easy on that, eh? Give Merkley a chance. Mm, he didn't pan well with Arizona, though, when we did our GM there. It didn't pan out very well. Rodrigue is on a not fun contract. Dubé would, like, pro progress, but, like, not, not much. Nikas would be nice. Nikas. He could turn into something, and he's signed pretty cheap right now. I could go for that. It would take a bit to get him, but I would like him on the team. I would do whatever to get him. Not whatever, but you know what I mean. Not much in the way of value. It's kind of just at that point where we like don't have the earth, moon, and sun to give him for that. Okay, what do we got? In Chicago, nothing. It may be an 80 
Oh, no. Kot Kaniemi. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, we can't get him. I mean, he's going to be that good in real life, but still. Dubois would be nice to have on the team, honestly. Gergensen. Gergensen? I mean, maybe. He's better than nothing, but, like, I'm not really into that. Rasmussen. Already that pick's looking like one that I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if I'm fully on the he's going to be a good player sort of train, you know? I don't know if I'm on that train. What, Rasmussen? Yeah, I don't think he's going to be that very that good of a player. I just don't see it. People are like, oh, he's going to be pretty good. But I just don't see it. I really don't. Give him a can of shot. Wouldn't take much. Okay, we got a real fourth line center. Or I guess in this case, third. third. Like, it's better now. Jamel Smith out, McCann in, and then Haglin. Haglin? Why are you still here? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm trading any dead weight contracts right now. Alright, we're starting the stream off strong for Martin and going. What? What? What happened to Zuccarello? What happened to him? Jesus Christ, Batman. That's when I'm like... Mmm. You gonna join me? Right. Mm. Right. Nathaniel watches the stream. Alright, that... that This is... No. <laughs> I feel like no one's gonna take their contract, so... Oh, someone wants them. Calgary wants Zuccarello, so like... Turn for some... Trade him for like a third round pick. They have no. They have no skaters, like they, no room for skaters. They have no picks. They have a third. Thirds. They don't even have a first or second though. No, yeah, I know they're screwed. Is that the JG Wentworth commercial? No, she's watching some old musical. Probably sound of music. <laughs> Crazy old, old woman. woman. Oh. But we need a team that can, like, take his contract. Columbus. Detroit has all the money, so may as well... Just get up. Okay, just take fucking four. Take whatever I can get. Four from six. Take whatever I can get for him. <laughs> they don't want to take on the salary of Zuccarello. I need to trade him to a team that wants him. Apparently, and just... Martin says Assassin's Creed. We'll get there. No problem. Okay, we got rid of his contract for a fifth round pick. Well, I mean, he didn't get exactly what we wanted, but Zuccarello was kind of a mess of an experiment, so. I don't want to make this team younger and worse, but, like, come on. I'm not taking no shit contracts in. Those are like those dead weight contracts you don't need. You get like a seventh for this guy, maybe. I'll be lucky to get a seventh for this guy. To trade some of them. <laughs> yeah. I, they don't want to take on his contract. Are you serious? I'd have to actually trade a player of value for them to take him. That's a shame. Oh my God! They don't want him, and he's here for one season. Oh. He's here for one year. I probably could have just... Yeah, just, like, retain all of... Or like, like retain half his salary. And just, like, trade him to whoever for one year. Just take, take one of their picks and be done with it, basically. Because now the situation's not so bad. Right, I was just going to do a seventh and move along. Thank you. Whew. Got rid of that mess. So, as it stands, this is our center situation. Not terrible, but not great. Like, I mean, I think we could still make some noise with this team. Left wing's not bad. Right wing, well, it's a little thin, but I think I can use Bykoff to my advantage. And with the cap we have, we can get a right wing. Cass. He turned out not too terrible in the past. He might be the option. He definitely is an option, for sure. 
I'm just like I'm not looking for anybody like crazy in value. I'm just looking for a guy who can fill his spot, like this guy, Gautier. You know, nothing too, yeah. nothing too fancy. You know, a guy like him, not necessarily him. He doesn't fit the kind of mold that we have on our team. But you know, a guy like him. You know, that kind of guy. You know what I mean? Dennis Gurinoff, he wouldn't be bad. A lot of value for him, though, but, like, be Turn worth the other. Wow. What do we need to get these guys? How about this? There we go. Holy cow. So now we've gotten pretty strong now. I don't think... I'm just going to make sure... At these, like I, I'm only gonna have them off for the season and have them on in the playoffs. Wow! Wow! Year number three, or year four? Sorry, with this team, I think this team's gonna make some noise. We still have our first, so if we shit the bed, we at least have our pick. But I never like trading our first in case it's the one year we shit the bed and then another team takes our pick. Not unless we're like guaranteed at the half. Yeah, the unless we're like unless we're like in the president's trophy mix, then I would deal off our first for a player who could be a rental for the Stanley Cup run, and that's it. I did that with kind of like Tory Krug. It didn't work out that year, but like a guy like Tory Krug, who's good, would solidify the defensive core. But like, only there for that year. That kind of guy. Expectation. So now I think is to get to the playoffs for sure. There's no excuse why we can't. No excuse why we can't make the playoffs. I'm not supposed to be controlling my scouts anyway. Am I not? I'm pretty sure the scouts were supposed to... We have any good scouts? All AHL scouts, except for this one American scout, which I'll side because... I mean, I wouldn't mind having him. But other than that, they're all American Hockey League scouts, except for this one European scout. Yeah. Who will just sign, just in case we don't have a European scout. Because, yeah... We're over the salary. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think they really matter. Like, scouts, I don't think, really matter. You get scouts. Okay. That so, bothers me. What? Yeah, I know. I <laughs> didn't think of that. All right, we're just going to make every make sure everything we have on this team is perfect for the season. One, two, three. Okay. Doc, you're coming up. Make more roster moves. I didn't want to do that. One, two, three, four. Doc, I think, is going to be... One, two, three, four. Gone, so you're getting sent down. Mm, oh, wait. Me neither. Oops. Here we go. And then Bennett, you're also getting sent down. Defenseman, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then our goaltending, one, two. In the minors, one, two, three. Oh, Garrett Sparks is still here. <laughs> I kind of forgot he was there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Garrett Sparks, but I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> All right, I think this team is ready to have a relatively decent year. I'm a little concerned about that top line left wing spot, but other than that, like, I think we'll be fine. As our top line's pretty solid. No excuses, the playoffs are a must. Let's go, boys. Try and do the next three seasons today. We'll try to get us through to the playoffs. Unless we make deep runs, and obviously. But I think why we went through the first three years so quick was because we tanked the entire way. Oh, yeah. Nice. Two wins out of the gate. Oh, for fuck's sake. What do we got this year? Another dad and off. Daddy's home. <laughs> it looks like we have a sniper in the top three. Uh, you have to get. 
if the opportunity. The teams. Ooh, three and oh, boys. Let's go. Come on, boys. Ooh, that's clean. A five and oh. What a team we got going here. Six and oh man, oh man, this team. It's clean. The worst we can do is six and two. That's the worst. And we went undefeated in the opening month of the year. Yeah. Eight and zero. How does that happen? That has never happened once in my career as GM in either NHL 18 or 19. This has never happened. Tyson Berry leads their team in points. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, look at the scores, though. We're going to look at the scores real quick. They're close games. Like, okay. First game, 3-2. to two. First game, or second game, 3-0. Three 3-2. Nothing. 1-0, three 4-1, 4-1, 3-2, three 3-2. Two, three two. So it's not scoring that's winning us those games. It's Tyson I think, Berry. I think we know the man. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Calculated. I think we know the man who is saving us. I think we know our savior. This man, right? And apparently Di Pietro got a shutout in his only game. But <laughs> nice. this man right here has been our savior. Year four has been off to a good start. We lose every game in November. I'd be choked as fuck. I would cry. What? I would be so sad. But, alright, here we go. Let's see how many games we can win in a row. Come on, boys. Let's go for nine. Oh! Come on! Calgary. We'll remember this Calgary for when we next... Oh, come on! Two for nothing shutouts. Vancouver. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. There we go. We, we got, got a wins. couple of good wins there. Okay, we got a pity point. Pity point. Come on, boys. Ottawa. Oof. Four to one. Come on. Another pity point, but... We're dwindling, boys. Let's go. We lo we're we 2, 3, and 2 this month. Because our first month we went undefeated. We're not doing so hot. Not doing so well this month. Hot cakes. We're kind of maintaining a 500 record, though. So, Because 3, 4, and 2. So I guess, no, not even close to 500, but you know. Oof, man. Close to the pity 500. Okay. If we can win these next three games... That's one. If we can go 15, 5, and 2, I would call that a decent month. We still have to beat the Kings and the Oilers, though. So. Still need to defeat them. And we got a trade. Or scouts. Yeah. Just, oh. Really? <laughs> I love LA. <laughs> you know. We lost to Edmonton. We need to reevaluate our franchise. We're still first in the division. Not in the league anymore, though. Division fucking sucks. The division's just bloody trash. Division's bloody trash. All right, that was not a very good month. Five, seven, and two. Yeah. Come on, boys. You're better than this. We finished it's one just, point out of the playoffs. I would be crushed. Like, <laughs> one point out of the playoffs. I would be so sad. Okay, <sighs> come on. You had an 8 and 0 month. Seriously. Bro, essential scouting rankings are in. This guy's still rated number one. I just don't... Is nobody scouting anybody? Do we not have scouts for these people? Yeah. Get the fuck scouting, boys. Or do I have to assign these scouts? 
There are no scouts in the American region. Watch. I thought we had one. I thought we signed one. We signed an American scout, but... Is he in the wrong region? I don't know. Wow. Our scouts should be fucking useful. Oh, he's being scouted. He's being scouted. Okay. And this... Ernesto Irving from America. Sean Sims or whatever. Alright. Mercy. We need a better month right now. Like, we're rolling out the tanks. I swear if we miss the playoffs, that's going to be one of our biggest <laughs> collapses we've ever had in GM history. Ain't no start. I wonder what that, what team that reminds me of turns around to my team, the Canadians. Goes 10-0 in their first month or something like that. Then they fucking miss the playoffs at the end of it. You blow it. Okay. Are we like rolling out the tanks? What the hell's going on? Yeah, we be the wild. <laughs> I love how you're just like taking. Oh man. What I forgot the wild were bad. <laughs> <laughs> Team, man. Come on. You're 500 now. What happened? Do I have to get the clip warmed up? Get the clip warmed up because I expected <laughs> a playoff spot with this team. There is no way we missed the playoffs, especially with that 8 0 start. Imagine if we didn't go 8 0 and we went with like 5 something, 5 and something. This would be a worse record. But we have. Are 500, 18, 14, and 4. There is no way. That's the only thing Martin says Assassin's Creed. There is no fucking way. <laughs> we are the first in the division. <laughs> ten points Legit, we are 10 from points from last place. Jesus. Who has 19 points? <sighs> God damn, they're terrible. <laughs> How does one suck as much no as... No wonder we beat them. <laughs> we better have beat them. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go. Oh, shit. Okay, please. You guys, we are 10 points separating us from first and last. We cannot ruin this. Another pity point. And the speaker's getting warmed up. <sighs> Come on. You guys need a better month. These last two months of... With the team we have... Oh, we beat Calgary. Got a revenge, finally. They handed us our first loss. Maybe now that we beat them, the curse will reverse. Oh man, this team is taking a nosedive to the fucking nope. netherworlds. Like row uh, boys, three out of the last four. Seven out of eight points. Nine out of ten. Okay, there's the win streak. Come on. Told you when we beat Calgary. Come on. It was that Calgary loss that set everything down, so maybe. The victory against Calgary will change our fortune. Reverse the curse. We have won every game since we defeated Calgary, except for Vancouver. We haven't lost in regulation since defeating Calgary. What luck that is. We're still undefeated in regulation since beating Calgary. You know, it's just Calgary. Everything, it's revolves ca everything around revolved Cal around Calgary. <laughs> Fucking flames. And we're second in the division still. We were stubborn, and we're still in the playoff race. Like, thank you, Calgary. I swear we've only played them twice. What? The what? Okay, what? <laughs> Gino. Gino Malkin? Jesus, why do you want to trade him here? Why do you want to trade everybody here? This would, like, be perfect for our cup run, but come on. Can we bring Gino in once? How good is this news bomber? Well, I wouldn't want to trade him. 
I'd rather like drop Noose Bomber and Mata and just take Malkin in. Do it. But like, we're not gonna win the cup, so it's literally all for naught. Like, we're kind of like the Maple Leafs. We're gonna make the playoffs, but Lose. we're probably gonna get pushed aside in the opening round. They want to bring Manson back. <laughs> like, would you want to come back to our team? <laughs> He's like, no. He's had three years of failure. I wouldn't want him. I wouldn't blame him for wanting to leave. All this is taken into account while we still haven't lost regulation since beating Calgary. Roddick Fosca. Or Foxa. I always say that wrong. Alright, how good are you? 79. You're really just kind of what you are. Like a fourth line center. I'm a bust. It would take like just a third for that. I would trade just a third for Foxa. They won't make it. They should. Okay, then fuck you guys. I'm not trading two picks for that. Oh, we finally lost in regulation to the Sharks. But if we can just get back on track, maybe we'll be fine for the playoff race. A hey. <sighs> Ron Pace that better more points this year than we've had in any of our other years. Need 82 to beat it. Switch his possession again. All right. Now we've just been not terrible since losing to San Jose. If we can break 35 wins before the deadline, that'd be nice. B. Martin. Actually, no, we'd have to win every game for that. No, it's not even possible anymore. How about 32 wins before the playoffs? Or right before the trade deadline's over? 32 wins. You gotta be like Martin, you know? I wonder if you heard that. <laughs> Wait till next Sunday. <laughs> All right, we have two games before the end of the month and four for before the deadline. Win like two of these, please. You have to win two, two at least. That's a big ass trade. No. Okay, so we won 32 games. We're going to sim up to the Blackhawks and sim that game, like, just slow sim so we don't sim to the next day for the trade deadline because I think they won't let us trade because we're in a position that, like, um, we are in a position where we can push for the playoffs. Again, another goddamn player where we just don't have room for it. We just don't need him on the team. Yeah, no. Like, I'd rather keep our core right now. Unless I want to make an earth-shattering rental trade. Wow, we lost 6 nothing. Wait. I'd rather bring in, like, a high-caliber player who's got a year left on his contract and give up our first-round pick and a bunch of other shit. I hope I press sim game and not play game. I fucking press play game. <laughs> You'll be all right. We're second in the division by two points, so if we can maintain home ice advantage for the playoffs, I think we'll be set. We beat up on Chicago there, so gaining ground on the Kings anyway. So here's our situation coming into the trade deadline. Here's what we have. We have Archibald, Shen, and Dadnoff. Pretty solid top line, right? To Foley and Couture, pretty good second liners, right? And then you have this guy. See, if we were to acquire a second line winger, or even a top line left winger for that matter, we'd move everybody down. Lafreniere, not having a terrible rookie campaign, but we'd move him down to the fourth. Martinu gets sent down. I like how he's coming along too. Kirby Doc went up a couple overall ever since coming over. Defense is pretty solid. I'm liking it. It'd be a good playoff contending team, like playoff or or. <laughs> Can I English? You okay, bro? No, I really am not. Too much McDonald's. I I only had a coffee and a wrap today. <laughs> That's it. I actually had more Tims. I had like a coffee. That's it. I'm liking how Olsen's coming too. He's coming soon. 
Josh. He was a 37th overall pick. Wow, that was a good pick. That was a good pick by me. Okay, so left wingers are what we're looking for. We would like an 85 ish. 85 is kind of the goal. And we have, I like him with like a year left on his contract, so he's strictly a rental. Unless we have enough to pay the man. Well, I didn't mean that, Goudreau. <laughs> He'd be perfect, but... Krebs. Of course, I tried to get Krebs on the team, but... Or wait. Who did we pick first year? Archibald? He was picked the same year. He was picked third, 87 to 21. <laughs> How many points did he get? He has 53. And Archibald has like 40. Something. And Archibald has about 43. Everybody's turning around. I knew he's always been good in these games. Why did I not draft Krebs that year? Why did I not draft him? Don't be sod. Sod would be perfect. We don't bring him back on a new contract, right? Unless we have the money to pay him. He'd be perfect. Sod might be one of our best bets. Because now that we're in the dance, basically, may as well go for the cup. Like, we might not win it. Obviously, probably not. But Zucker. Not taking Zucker. He can't score for shit. Anders Lee has four years on his contract. I don't even know what I'd be thinking if I tried to bring him in. Like, this is just a year where I'm trying to rent, 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 rent. Pick up a guy, and that's it. Go for the cup and see how it goes. Andre Palat would be nice. Pretty off year, but like, still would be perfect. And then he would help our, he would help that second line immensely. It would take a lot to bring him in, but... You gotta do what you, you know, can. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's one of the top scorers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. If not, we'll go for sod. Then you won't be sod. No. <laughs> well, you yeah, gotta get sod. I think Saad will be the only realistic player we can go after. Because there's no other, like, solid players who would fit. Oh, yeah. Is there a new crate? On Ele Elevation crate. Yeah. Yeah. I got a banner from it. I wonder if Kyle Connor is set to be a UFA. I would bring him in, but, like, I don't know if he's on a... Yeah, we'll just go for Chicago's guy. I guess he's on Columbus still, eh? And he's still in Columbus. Um. Don't be sad. Only slightly confused. But sorry about what? He has no value. Hold on, wait. No. No, because giving up a first wouldn't. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Just that's great. Thanks for sharing. Chisoff. <laughs> How about Melikar and Chisoff and that guy? Like a shitty pick. Or. Just for a pick? No, not enough. Not enough, eh? What about? I'm not giving up Coleman because he probably is going to make the team soon. Or like in the next year or two. So. Wow, they're not biting on this trade. There oh, we go. fucking time. <laughs> Alright, so now we have Brandon Sod. I think that's the only acquisition I'm set to make. You don't have to be Sod anymore. Pretty solid team we got going here. I think it's ready to make a run. Maybe not a deep, deep run, but like 
Well, I'm expecting a run now, of any sort. Playoffs. We don't make the playoffs. We gave we gave literally our first round pick, so I'm expecting playoffs, or I will be crushed. We're doing. <clears throat> we got eight extra points from overtime, so I mean. No more trades are to be made. We have our team for the playoffs. And we lose seven to nothing. Okay. If we miss the thank you. And then you lose the cup. You guys have been laying an absolute egg. There you go. Since the deadline. I don't even care that you won like three and three. You let in a seven nothing and five nothing losses happen. It's bad on the plus minus. <laughs> then oh. we're Oh, we beat Calgary. Oh? Will the blessing live on? I think the blessing lives on. I'm tearing it up now. The blessing lives on with Calgary. Oh! Oh, and they beat us. With five games to go, 42, which is 84 points, plus 8 is 90. If we win all five games, we will hit 100. 92. Oh, 92, right. 84 and 8. I math. I know how to math. <laughs> Brandon Sods have like literally three points since he came over. Hey, we're in the playoffs. <sighs> All right, expectations met. We made the playoffs now, and we're set to win our division. All we have to do is like win two games, and our division's ours. Who's the most garbage team? Um, Minnesota. right now, well, we'd be set to take on St. Louis. So. <laughs> If we win the division, we're going to be taking on St. Louis in the opening round. Ooh. Winnipeg is 115 points. Mm-hmm. They're going to smack us around in that game. I don't even expect us to win. If we win. If we win, then we could probably keep up with this team at the playoffs. Hey! We beat Winnipeg. Oh. Come on. One more game, we could win fucking 100 points. Yeah, 100 points! That's the first one. You're four. Year four, we hit 100 points. 28, not 278. 28 and 8 with 100 points. All right, not very good in the scoring department, as I can tell. But we must have had solid defense. Actually, no, we didn't. Our defense kind of sucked. 208, 208. We had an even zero goals for per game. Or like a plus minus. Where did we finish? We finished about middle of the... No, we finished the bottom half of uh, goals for per game. Goals against per game. First and first. Goals against per game was a little better in the top half. Power play. Not very good. And penalty kill. Well, we can say we have a solid penalty kill. Defense just not consistent. We would have games where we like would let in, like have shutouts, but then we'd have games where we'd like would let in seven, right? Shen didn't have, or Allen didn't have a terrible year. Di Pietro would be, kind of be the scapegoat of anybody, really. So, while I don't see a Vesna trophy for Allen, I mean, it was enough to bring us to the Stanley Cup playoffs, so. That division was terrible. We're set to take on the St. Louis Blues. In the opening round of the playoffs. Nice. And the LA Kings take on the Oilers. The Jets take on the Coyotes. And the Predators take on the Stars. Alright, let's check out the St. Louis Blues lineup. That's the Ducks lineup. Okay. The St. Louis Blues. Ove <laughs> oh, what? Ovechkin, Schmaltz, and Tarasenko. Clem Coaston. Broussard. Fabry, Saboka, Thompson, Komarov, and then the rest are trash. Because no one cares about the fourth line. Their defense, good. Goaltending is... So my judgment is, we'll take it in six. It's going to be close. Real close. What do you think? I don't know. This should be an interesting series. I think this would be a good one. 
We might not win, but if we don't, it's a learning experience. Hopefully we don't blow a 4 nothing lead or whatever. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> that was a high scoring affair. Anyways, I work at 6 tomorrow, so maybe we should just make this our only season. Yeah, that might be good for you. Mm -hmm. We'll probably have a long night anyhow. Maybe. Probably. I don't know, I think I think some family stuff came up, so... Wow. So it might be... I don't know, actually. Maybe... Maybe Thursday? Maybe Friday? Definitely Friday, but... Oh dear. We beat the Blues 8-5. to five. Nice defense, boys. We have a 3 to nothing series lead, and it's all just scoring our way out of problems. We are literally the Toronto Maple Leafs. We scored our way out of everything. All right, a 3 nothing series lead. Okay, the Blues got one. <laughs> it was against his old team. That was one game. Okay. <laughs> How does the President's Trophy winning team get swept in the first round? That's awesome. Well. Well, like, they didn't win the six, but we won five. Off to the second round. One of the Coyotes can say. Actually, no. They, they made it to the We made it to the semifinals in our first year. Somehow. <laughs> and then lost the Ducks. We blew that. We blew it to the Ducks because we had a 2 nothing series lead. And we're set to take on Edmund. Connor McDavid and his Oilers. Here we go. All right, let's see their lineup. Oops, that's edit lines again. Still, lineup still just as strong. This is a team that, like, I don't know, with Winnipeg out, the Western Conference is up for grabs now. Because Winnipeg was, like, the team to beat. So obviously you have McDavid, you have Dreisaitl, and then you kind of just have everybody else. So, will this team be good? I don't like their yeah. goaltending, so I think we take it in six. You think we take it this series as well? Yeah. I mean, if we make the conference finals, that would be a damn impressive. The reason that we lose is because of Connor McJesus. Well, or, or are you, that or, Gord guy, whoever the fuck he is. Gord scored a fucking hat trick. Who? Gord, the guy we drafted, he was our our best player in the first season, and then we traded him away at, at the deadline. <sighs> they didn't even get forty wins this year. Come on. It's just the first game, and it's likely McDavid set them up for all those because he's the only he's the guy on the top line. Okay. Okay. What? Holy cow. McDavid much? <laughs> Was that McDavid? I feel like McDavid did more than meets the eye in that one. I mean, we got McDavid. The series is already <laughs> looking pretty bleak. <laughs> if we could win a game here, that'd be great. I mean, I said this is the year where I'm meh with losing wherever because, like... We're getting stomped. We're getting on. curb stomped by the Oilers. <laughs> Division uh, winners might quietly go in four games here. Come on, win a game. We have one game left, and it's not likely that one's going to be ours either. Get on with it. And, ooh, we live to see the day. We live to see <laughs> another day. Hey, at least losing in five is better than losing in four. Because honestly, I just don't see us solving McDavid for three more games. I really don't. Oh? We live in another <laughs> yeah. game. Mark Nuke with the winner. Yeah, the garbage guy. Okay. I know I shouldn't be changing things now, but those first three games happened for a reason. So, we're going to try that balanced attack method. Martin Nuke on the first line. No. Legend. I think and then if we kept like Couture on the fourth line, let McCann play on the second. Just mix everything up here. I think the defense will keep the same. Fucking... We're not starting DePetro. 
<laughs> okay, we've won two games now. We've rallied back here. We're rallying here. Oh, I said in six. <laughs> Just didn't expect it to be the Oilers ready to knock us off. Oh. Yeah. And we live another day. Game seven. Get the clip warmed up. <laughs> oh, not game seven. Hey, we aren't in the conference finals, remember. It's our conference final curse, not our semifinal curse. But I swear, <laughs> if the Oilers lose... <laughs> if they lose this game we came back from 3 and 0 oh to win the series what <laughs> to the Oilers you actually blew it you had foot on the throat with us you had it in the bag but you absolutely blew it <laughs> All Edmonton fans should be ashamed to be fans of their team right now. Okay. <laughs> let's not let's not get curb stomped in the conference finals here. Alright, let's see their lineup. Alright, we forgot to check. The we'll Dallas do. Stars. They're a team, alright. They're a good team, I think. The some good players and some good men. Yeah. Oh, Sagan's gone, but other than that, they have just Jamie Benn. That's that. all they have, really. Look at that weak ass fourth line. Their goaltender's better, though, so. Their I goaltender. still think we're gonna. We have a chance to win here. We just, again, we came back 3 0 against the Oilers, so really anything is possible at this point. Like, there is no way why we can't win this series. And at this point, like, let's look at the standings right now because it's us. Dallas, Boston, and the Islanders. Oh, Boston. We had troubles with them all. Boston, I think, was the best team remaining. Boston's the best team remaining so far. Oh, the Islanders are here too. So, we're the third best team, so we're going to be the underdogs no matter what the scenario is. Whenever we go to the finals, we're still the underdogs if we make it. That's still if we make it. We haven't made it yet. Well, we're yeah. two games from the conference finals or the Stanley Cup finals. I can't. I can't say we did that with the Arizona Coyotes right away. I think it took us what five years to get to the finals, mm -hmm. or was it? Yeah, it was five. Yeah, because the odd year curse or the even year curse. We lost every even year in the conference final, yes. and we're one game away from the Stanley Cup final. My God, finish them. Now remember, we beat Edmonton being down three nothing. Being coming back from three to one is not as hard. I mean, it's hard, especially with our team. But you know, especially with Dallas. Whoa, what? Oh, I was about oh. to say. I was about to say Dallas just curb stomped us, and I'm like, we came back, and now they. It's still anybody's game. They Come could on, still please. win these next two games. This like, is the game we need to win. And we're we off to do. the cup finals. Year number four. This could be the quickest Stanley Cup we've ever won. <laughs> if we win. And we're set to take on the Boston oh, Bruins. No. The Boston oh, Bruins. No. All right. I don't see this. Ending, Let's see their lines. I don't see this ending well at all. I see a sweep, boys. Oh, no. Look at their fourth line, too. We're fucked. What's their D? Oh it's no, we're screwed. Yeah, oh, it's all good. We're screwed. <laughs> it would take like a massive underdog story to win this one. Miracle on ice. That is literally what the story of this year is. Yeah, I put D Pietro in that. It was one to nothing though. That was like despite that, pretty solid. Like one nothing. <laughs> like I think we'll do the draft stuff tomorrow because I do have to get home. But all right. Oh, okay. We're keeping up with the Bruins. We're losing, but we are keeping up with them, and we have to give ourselves that. Let's win a game here, boys. One game. I am already proud of our team's cup run. Like I did not expect this. And. We yeah. win game three on home ice. The Q Center is 
bumping right now. It all comes down to this, and it's not over yet. We st They still have to win two more. We aren't out of this yet. We aren't out of this just yet. And the <laughs> series is knotted at two. It's anybody's game now. Best of three. Let's do this. The Bruins need to win this one. If the Bruins win this one, then it'll be hard to win. But if we win it, we've got the foot on the throat. The balanced attack method has been working since we changed Ooh. it. We are one win away from the Stanley <laughs> Cup in year number four. Okay. We turned this team into a legitimate threat for a dynasty in year four. What? It, this is actually insane right now. All right, here we go. Slow sim this shit. We're on the board <laughs> off to the gate. Victoria, Canada's been waiting for another cup. Well, even though Toronto won last year. <laughs> they're waiting for Pacific or Western Canada for a Stanley Cup. And Toffoli scores. Yes, boys. Oh, man. I can almost <laughs> taste it. Oh. Oh, man. I have not. Oh. Halfway. 2 nothing lead. Oof. 2 nothing lead. We have we we right now we're playing with house money. We're like this team whatever the road whatever happens it's been a hell of a ride. Marshawn no. Marshawn no. Don't ruin this for us. We're so close. No, don't you dare. No. No. Come on, Victoria, tie it up. You still got four minutes. You still have four minutes. And that's probably the game. Oh, and we, <laughs> we had it so close. Goes to game seven overtime. Game seven, boys. We are one win away from the Stanley Cup. And we're in Boston. They pulled it out of Victoria. Just barely. And I don't know, boys. Boston might have it this year. Game 7, this is so gut-wrenching. If they win the Stanley Cup, that's going to be the most gut-wrenching loss. Ladies and gentlemen, your Stanley Cup champs are the Boston Bruins. The Boston Bruins win. We had the Cup. Just one win. You blew One win away. We had it. We controlled our own destiny. But we absolutely blew it. I had the apple juice cooling in there, and we couldn't get it this year. I'm actually choked. Like, I didn't expect nothing, but it was as soon as we made those finals, it was just like, come on. You're all the way here already. May as well win. And we had them too. We were down to one win. One. And we fucking blew it. But. The next time we stream, we will turn this team. We will come back with a vengeance. We will be ready. And we will take them down. We will be the new champions. You trust me on that. 